Taisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. I want to thank my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and those of you that are checking me out for the first time. If this reading resonates with you, or if you just resonate with the way I read, I encourage you to please share, like, and subscribe. So that being said, I'm going to jump right in. Today I am doing uh, behind the scenes tarot reading for the Divine Feminine. So I am clear, sorry, I am reading with the energy oracle cards and I'm clarifying with the dreams of Gaia tarot deck. So that being said, I'm going to jump right in. We have here attachment in reverse, five of fire, five of earth, and child in reverse. Okay, Divine Femmes, so in the past, you, you released yourself or you detached yourself from, you let go of someone or some people that um, caused a lot of problems in your life. They caused a lot of um, strife. Uh, this person or these people, they, they tried to hold you back. They tried to slow down your progress. They're very envious and jealous of you. And they went out of their way to try to make life hard for you. This person or these people, they always... Okay, so I'm getting two stories here. The first one is a person, so a relationship with someone you were in, and it, it was um, you were always fighting with this person. The second one is um, a friend or a group of friends that they just, they didn't have your best interest at heart. They didn't really, they weren't true friends. Slow your progress. Um, I'm hearing spread rumors. This person or these people would spread rumors about you. They tried to ruin your reputation. And you came to... You started to see it for what it was. You started to see that these people or this person did not care about you. You started to see that this, these people were just problems. They were toxic, absolutely toxic. I'm hearing someone saying, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm also hearing hurt people hurt people. So you came to the realization that these people or this person was hurt, has been hurt, and it's from childhood. You recognize that it's childhood wounds, why they act the way they act, and you decided to detach yourself from them. I'm feeling, um, so I'm feeling someone who is an empath, and they can feel uh, the hurt that is going on underneath the surface with someone, but that, that is also making them wise in realizing that they need to stay away from these people or this person because they have healing to do. And they're just going to keep going around. I'm not taking it personal. So I'm hearing someone saying, I'm not taking this personal because you do this with everybody. You do this to everybody. This person is extremely jealous. They were extremely jealous of you. Now, this could have been someone you were in a relationship with or um, an old friend. You're no longer friends with these people. You're no longer in a relationship with this person. And you also stopped lying to yourself. So I felt like you were making, you made a lot of excuses for this person's very poor, horrible behavior. And you stopped doing that. And you kind of just like, you didn't kind of, you, you just let it go. You released it. I'm hearing someone saying no. I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm done with this. This person also, or these people, they would, they would drain your energy. They were draining your energy. Energy vampire. Energy vampires. <laughs> so they would constantly bring problems into your life to drain you so that you would pour your energy into trying to resolve a problem that wasn't going to be resolved because this person did not want... They didn't want to be in good standing with you. They wanted to see you on your face. They did not want to see you um, doing good. They didn't want to see you succeed.
And you started to see that. You stop lying to yourself. You stop deceiving yourself about this. And you just start to see things for what they were. It's also because you did, you've did. you done your inner child work. And you continue to do that. While you are able to recognize it in someone else. You are able to recognize the work that needs to be done in somebody else. That's also the, one of the reasons why you walked away. You came to the realization that until this person heals, they're just going to keep doing this with everybody. And that this person is not a happy person or these people are not happy. That is why they go around trying to cause problems in people's life. I'm hearing family members too. They're not happy with their life, so they don't want to see anyone else happy. And they, for some reason, did not want to see you happy. But you got wise and you, you let this go. You walked away from this. You completely detached. I'm seeing someone um, sending a text message to someone or trying to send them an email and it's just being deleted. It's not even being read. It's like they get a notification and they delete it once they see who it's from. I'm also seeing someone creating a fake profile to um, watch you on social media, maybe um, leave rude comments on your, on your pictures or on whatever you're doing on social media. They try to leave rude comments and I'm seeing you removing them. <laughs> like you're not even wasting any time with it. You're not putting any more energy into this person or these people. And that's good. You're not letting it affect you. You've completely detached emotionally, mentally, physically. You're done. I'm hearing done, done. And I'm seeing it in bold capital letters. Done, done. Presently, we have patience. Sage, self, 12 of water, and 6 of air. So right now you are focusing on knowing yourself. You're focusing on going over the facts. You're being patient with yourself. So you, it's like you are, you're looking at things in the past and you're seeing, it's like you got an epiphany. Like revelations or realizations about people or this person. Like I'm hearing someone saying, why didn't I see that before? Why didn't I know that before? Why didn't I recognize that before that they were like that from before? You're also realizing where um, you played a part in um, how things went down, as in you not standing up for yourself, you not saying something when it was wrong or when it was right. You're also, it's, you're taking back your power. And you're learning yourself. You're learning how powerful you really are. You're learning that you are responsible for your own life by the choices that you make. I'm hearing someone saying, I don't have to have you around me. I don't have to have you in my life. Because you started to see, see things, see situations, see people, see this person for who they are, you've made a decision. Like you're you're firm in your resolve now that you don't want you don't want that kind of toxicity around. You don't want that kind of energy in your life. You also um. You're letting go of that, um, okay, so this person or these people, they made you feel that you had no other options but them. Like, you've known these people for so long that you don't want no new friends, right? Or these are family, so it doesn't matter what they do, you got to put up with it. Relationship-wise, this person made you feel like, they were the only one, what is it? 
they were the only one that would love you. So you kind of had this like um, this sense of desperation for them and, and they led you to believe that they were your only options. And you came to the realization that no, you have many options. You create your options, you create your opportunities. You're also learning how to balance your emotions with your intellect, with your logic. Because in the past, you, your emotions, sorry, your decisions were made from emotions, majority emotions. You're very emotionally driven. So you would do things like someone would do something real fucked up to you and you would make an excuse and be like, oh, well, you know, whatever the excuse is, and then you would forgive them, right? Now you're saying, okay, I forgive you, but I ain't fucking with your ass anymore. Because you're looking at the facts now. You're not just listening to what people say. You're watching what they do. You're also an empath. You're a very powerful empath, as a matter of fact. And you are feeling people out now. Now you're not just listening to what people say and watching what they're doing. But you are you're reading their energy. So now with you, it's if something doesn't feel right, it's not. You're learning to follow your intuition. You're learning to trust your intuition. You see this woman, she has her, her hand over her heart. You're following your heart towards things that are better for you, towards people that are better for you. It's like these people... Um, they, oh, okay. So I'm hearing they held you back from yourself. They wanted, they didn't want you to know how powerful you were because once you did realize that, you wouldn't mess with them anymore. They knew that. Once you realize the gifts that you have inside of you, because they already saw it. So I'm, I'm seeing someone like, um, they have their foot on... They have their foot on someone's head or they have their foot on a mouse's tail. They looked at you like a little weak, you know, like a little weak little mouse that they could just play games with. And that caused you to not know yourself, kind of lose yourself. It, it slowed you down from... Um, knowing who you really are and now that's what you're doing and you're being patient with yourself you're taking the time out now to know who you really are and you're working on yourself because you refuse to have situations like this happen again you know a lot better now you are so much wiser now and you are balancing you're balancing your intellect and your logic and your emotion so you can, you're getting a rounded view of pictures now, rounded view of situations. You're looking at them, at situations and people from all sides now, through all layers now. I'm hearing someone, I'm hearing and I'm seeing someone going to apologize to, to, to someone, but, but I feel the person that's apologizing, they feel like, um, it's just some half-assed, oh, I'm just going to tell them sorry and they're going to come back and do what I want them to do. But no, honey, that's not happening anymore because you are changing. You are beginning to recognize who you are. And you're not going for that shit anymore. You've also come to the realization that the people in your life, you choose them. Also, the people that you don't want in your life, you have a choice. That everything comes down to choice. Everything in life comes down to choice. And who you want in your life, who you don't want in your life, what you want to experience, what you don't want to experience, it is a choice. And you're learning how to make more informed decisions from a higher perspective. 
from a higher state of consciousness. It's like you have a bird's eye view on things now. It's like being in a situation and you don't see what's going on because you're too close up. So when you step back, you can see what's really going on. And because you've stepped out of these situations, you can really look at them now and see them for what they really were. Okay, Divine Femme, so in the future, moving towards your future, along with guidance from spirit, we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, seven of fire, and perception. <laughs> Yes, right on. You're right on the money. You're right on the money, Divine Femmes. It, moving towards your future, you are, uh, first off, you've healed. You've healed from this betrayal, heartbreak, just toxic connections, toxic situation. You've done your work and you're healing. You've healed or you've healed or you're, you're healing. You're also going to be using your intuition moving forward in life now and trusting your gut you're also not <laughs> if you see in this picture both of her eyes are um they're closed it's cover her eyes are covered but her third eye is wide open if you see in this picture third eye wide open right also there is a, a butterfly so transformation so you've changed this situation changed you it changed you for the better you are now more wiser you are now more intuitive you are now more um open open in terms of uh because you've done your healing your heart is open but it's open to the right things you're allowing your heart to lead you to the things that you want for yourself you're allowing your heart to um what is it through self-love because you love yourself you are attracting people and situations and opportunities like that that represent the love that you have for yourself. You are also very, very perceptive. So you don't need your two eyes. It's not what you see with people anymore. It's how their energy is. You read people's energy now. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> you read people's energy. You pick up on what they're not saying. So you've even gone past that. I don't listen to what people say. I watch what they do. You've gone past that. You are at, I pick up on your energy because energy does not lie. And that is exactly what spirit is guiding you to do. To move in the newness of who you are. That's what I'm hearing. You are a different person. You have transformed. And you are very powerful. Look at this. Look at this woman. <laughs> Look at this woman. She looks like someone you don't want to fuck with. Right? She ain't playing no games. She has her sword. That she, you know, she's not playing no games. Right? This is a sword of truth. Right? She has her sword of truth because you are looking for the truth in situations now because you're reading the energy. As you can see here, there's a snake. Right? So this talks about... Um, shedding layers of yourself you're not the same person that you were with these people before this person before they can't come with that mess now oh no <laughs> i'm hearing someone say where are you where are you it's like someone from the past came to look for you and they couldn't find you because you're not there anymore the old you is not there anymore and if you see the expression on this woman's face she's looking at you like yo <laughs> what's up you have something to say to me Right? There's like a serious, determined, confident look in her face. You are not the same person that you were before. Absolutely not. And it's because you love yourself. This, these situations, they forced you to love yourself. So you could create better for yourself. So you could go within. They forced you to go within. And check with your higher self. To gauge, um, what is it, the, gauge the spectrum of a situation, gauge what's really happening in a situation. You cannot be fooled anymore. No one can pull no wool over your eyes because you don't need your eyes to see. Very, very powerful reading, Divine Femmes. Very powerful. 
Well, that's what I have for you. Please take a look at the programs in my description box. They are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. Some of you are still working on knowing yourself presently. Please, I'm encouraging you. I do these programs, I continue to do these programs, and they have helped me to peel back many layers of who I am so that I know who I am and what I'm about and why I'm here. So I encourage you, please, they're a half off right now, and you also get with a, the purchase of a major program, you get a mini program absolutely free. This helps to build up confidence and to eliminate anxiety. So I encourage you, please take a look at the programs in my description box. They will help you to get into this space a whole lot faster, right? We don't, you don't have no time to waste. These people, this person wasted enough of your time. They wasted enough of it. Also, if you are looking for a personal reading, I am here to serve. Or if you are looking for counseling sessions for someone to help you walk through the programs, I am here. All the information is in my description box. And just before I wrap this up, I would like to point you in the direction of my subscription list. There are other talented, very talented, very spiritually gifted Twin Flame Tarot readers. I would like to shout out Star Angel Sharon. Please go over to her channel and show her some love. She is a talented, very, very gifted Twin Flame Tarot reader. So I'm going to wrap this up for you, Divine Femmes. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Bye.